Algebraically. What does algebraically mean? <laughs> Means it has to do with alfalfa? Yes. Apparently. You use vegetables to, pr to prove this. Okay. Um, okay, here's how you prove it. If, this is going to look very confusing, but if you paid attention yesterday, it'll look less confusing. You have it? Uh oh, you're doomed. Okay, wait till I'm done writing this, and then. Oh, God. Okay. Does this look confusing yet? Yeah. Very. Very? Yeah. Wait. Okay, take a look at this statement I just wrote on the oh board here. Okay, if, if f of inverse of f equals inverse of f of f of x, and both of those just equal x, then... There's something wrong with it. Yeah. Then the two, then... We're all going to die. Then we're all going to die. The world blows up. Then f of x... And and it's in then and f negative one of x are really inverses. The algebra to prove this can sometimes get ugly. Are you ready? No. Be brave. Be ready anyway. Okay, sometimes it's easy, sometimes it's hard. I'll start with a medium problem one. Okay, example. Prove algebraically that f of x equals x cubed over 8 and G of x equals, hang on, look at that, better, and g of x equals cube root of 8x. Stretching or have a question, sir? Stretching. Excellent. Um, equals 8x are inverses. If I have a question, I'll just start talking. I figured that about you, Sam. Okay, prove algebraically that f of x equals x cubed over 8 and g of x equals cube root of 8x are inverses. What this means is you have to find f of g of x, that's the notation you were working on last night, and g of f of x, and they should both equal x. You're evil. Um, it does sound evil, doesn't it? Um, that was like fun to me. Because you're a math teacher. That's true, too. Um, okay, first we're going to check f of g of x. f of g of x means take f of x and put g of x in every c and x. Substitute. Don't multiply, don't divide, don't add or subtract, substitute. So this means take g of x, this entire function, and put it in for x here. That'll work? Yeah. And that's exactly what you want. So I'm going to take this cube root. Some of you are skipping ahead very nicely. Or just guessing. Or just guessing crazily. Um, and then I cube this. Okay, then, well, first off, double check. Did I write this correctly for substituting g of x yeah. into f of x? Everywhere I saw an x? Okay, cube roots and cubes tend to cancel each other out. So this becomes 8x over 8, which a couple of you already jumped ahead and said equals x. Okay, so the first half of our little proof is correct. So far it looks like these things really are inverses of each other. But you're not done, no matter how sure you are in your heart. You are not sure, uh, I'm not sure these are inverses until you work it out both ways. So now we have to do g of f of x. 
Again, if you got comfortable with that notation on the homework last night, good. If not, I'm sorry. Okay, what does this one look like? Uh, plug x cubed over 8 into the x under the radical. Yep, plug x cubed over 8, take this whole expression, put it in for that x under the radical. Let's see if I can do this and not make it look too terrible on the software. If you disagree, uh, Dean, if you disagree, speak now or... Okay, are oh, you seeing if it'll work? Yeah. Okay, so now this is x cubed. Wait, you're missing the 8. Where am I missing the 8? In front of x cubed over 8. On the top of, um, in the numerator. Yes, there's an 8 there. But wouldn't that cancel out? Uh, they will in a sec, yeah. I may be showing a... Did I, okay, did I plug? Actually, you know what I should do? Hang on, let me see if this makes it look. No, you do 8 times, yeah. And then let me get rid of that. Give me one sec and then tell me if. Okay, did I, is that now look like I substituted correctly? Yeah. Looks like I put the x cubed over 8 in for the x there? Yep. Okay, now the 8's cancel. I think she just in a couple of different orders. I'm going to start with saying the 8's cancel. And then what's the cube root of x cubed? X. Okay, so I plugged in both times, and I got X. So that works. Here's open. Now, I'm going to modify the homework. Remember, I originally wanted you guys to have some inverse homework. Last night, I decided to slow down, so I still have to modify this. For tonight, what I want your homework to be is... Let me pull this one. 